snow boys. They're not snowmen. They're snow boys. <laughs> <laughs> but they look just like your typical. I guess maybe because they're only two circles as opposed to three. I don't know. I that's my guess. Who knows? But uh, snow boys are back on Animal Crossing, and you can build them. And the snow boys, when you build them perfectly, you get a new recipe, which is awesome. It's all the ice and and every day that you have a proper built properly built snow boy which sadly they only last three days mm. so you have to make sure you talk to them every day that they're alive and for those three days you get a giant snowflake which you use in a recipe so one of the things with the snow boys is unless you build them perfectly you don't get the new recipe when they come to life and um which is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes uh, <laughs> because I uh, with my rolling my snow boys you if you are rolling you're rolling a ball so you first you kick the ball and then you as it gets bigger then you can roll it and as you roll it if you run it into a fence post or into the water or something it'll go away and then you'll have to go into a building and it'll reappear uh, so that's one of my my animal crossing snow boy tips <laughs> is if you have crushed one of your balls <laughs> your snow boy you could just go into a building and come back out and you'll get a new one so um the first one you'll roll around to create the perfect snow boy there are several methods on the internet which is amazing to see to begin with there's counting methods where you roll the bottom one i think it's 17 times and then the second one for 12 times and then you push them together and they become a snow boy uh, there's the other method where you measure the, your two balls for your snow boy. <laughs> and the one, if you are looking at your your character, your bottom one should be as tall as the top of your ear and your head or your top of your snow boy should be as big as the bottom of your ear. And that's how you create this perfect snow boy. There's a picture with like, or, there, there's a picture with like, like a height chart on here that you gave yes. us. <laughs> This was my favorite one with all of the different methods, and there uh, it's like math. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm playing a game. Don't make me do math. This is this is like and, a this is like a STEM well, game now. I, I'm thinking that if I rolled a snowball that came up to the top of my ear, <laughs> and then rolled one that was to the bottom of my ear, getting that snowball up on top of the other one would be rather difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not an Animal Crossing. We're super buff there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need for our Apple workouts. <laughs> <laughs> Physics are very special in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Absolutely. And okay, so with the third method and the one that I've gotten to work a couple times already is essentially you roll your first ball around until it's the maximum size, and then you put a path down in the snow using your tools, and um, you put ten spaces. So like maybe a 10, I, you can, I do two rows of it because it's too hard if it's a single row, but it's like essentially 10 sidewalks, 10, you know, however, you know, some people have, um, that you can get the different, um, I'm totally blanking out on it, but like the, it looks like terracotta or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you roll your other snowball to the maximum size and then you roll it across what you're essentially is your new sidewalk. And that your ball decreases in size until it gets to the other one where it's already max size. So you have max size on one end, 10 sidewalk pieces, and then your maximum. And then you roll them and then they pop up on top and you're supposed to have a perfect snow boy. Uh, another hot tip with this that kind of screwed me was the one you are pushing, no matter if it's bigger, if, if you're pushing, if you're big one and then you have a little bit smaller one, if you are pushing the big one towards your small one, your big one will go on top. So whatever one you want to be on top should be the one you're pushing towards the other one because that screwed me and he mocked me. My imperfect snowboy mocked me plenty for that. He's like, um, essentially he was an abomination. <laughs> so, wait, so, so, so you're just making sad, sad snowboys at this point. Yeah. They, they don't do anything for you. They just sit there and they mock you and you just get so mad. And I was mad at the game automatically because one of the other tips is if you, you mess it up, hurry up and exit out of the game and come back in because then you'll get your new balls reset. But uh, my game had already automatically saved and I was like, ah, he was there mocking me. <laughs> so, There's some metaphor for life for this one yeah, somewhere along the line. It's, it's all, but yeah, you can't figure it out. Just Google it. There's 
like like I said, there's at least three methods, if not mm-hmm. more, out there now to building the perfect snow boy. <laughs> wow. This if is you great. hear swearing from my house, that's why. <laughs> why why is she so angry on Twitter today? Well, she's been making snow boys and uh it's not going well. 